Let's see what my man got to say. Let's see what my man's got to say, man. Sharp dropped the diss track. Okay. We don't know why. Hard. We don't know where it, it came from. Can we react or is that is that you haven't heard That's it? Hold up. Hold up. Let's let nigga. Let's listen to it. I just want to throw this out there. Mm -hmm. You had to do it. Sharp dropped the diss track. We don't know why. Hard. We don't know where it, it came from. Can we react or is that is that you haven't heard I it? See. I ain't even heard it. Oh man. I've been too busy dissing dissing sharp you know what I'm saying, doing my own disses towards sharp. Probably have to like, sharp? go in the other room. I think I dissed sharp in one of the songs. Yeah. Did you? But that are out? Maybe no, maybe it was the one I don't know. I wrote a sharp disc. Maybe I didn't record it. It's coming. <laughs> coming. <laughs> it's no, coming. Bringing out Damn Homie was the sharp disc, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's yeah. yeah. what he's preparing uh, for is he thinks that we have some crazy sharp disc coming. Wow. When in reality, I don't I don't know. You know, it sucks because uh, like not true. Only reason I made that shit because a nigga was passing around my cup, chat. I'm going to keep it real simple for you. So that way we ain't got to even play no games. I'm going to let this play, though. I didn't want that to be no narrative, though. I mean, the nigga was playing on my cup. He was playing on my name. And we all know that. Like, let's stop even playing. Let's cut the drag. This is my sport. The way this fool, the way you are with the, the gang shit, that's how I am as far as, like, competitive rapping. You know what I mean? And so I really want, I welcome nothing more than known rappers trying to catch this lyrical fade because you don't get this work every single time. But the thing is... But who are you whooping? Who lush? We need to look at your face when we say this. Hold on. Lush. Who the fuck have you stepped up against other than in the office and named off a bunch of niggas in the office? Niggas didn't even give a fuck about that track, bro. When have you put out a track to where everybody like, nigga, you bumping that new Lush? You got that new Lush on? Man, I'm riding down the street right now, nigga on eights, banging that new Lush. You banging it? Hell no, nah, ain't nobody saying nothing. Lush, you need to cut it out, boy. You need to cut it out like Joey off the full house, nigga. Because you on your Joey shit. You acting like a real Joey right now. Cut it out. Stop it, bro. Stop. Don't do it to us. The song got to be tight mm. for me to like. It's got to. The people got to function with it, right. and then maybe. But if I'm bringing the song more attention by merely mentioning it, sorry, folks. Yeah, right. to me, that was one of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, it right. made he so. Did right. he did okay, right. This is the only lyric I remember from it. Is like he starts a bar and goes, "I'm styling." I'm oh, stopped. And, and that's like exactly kind of like. That's I, I, what you thought he would do, right? I just figured that's kind of like where he was at in terms of like what kind of rapper he was. And that's that's why I was bummed. Oh, the blade profile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I just, that's why I, when, when he was supposed to do the cypher, I'm not going to lie, like part of why I wanted him to do the cypher was from a, a low Kyle the tacky, perspective. The tacky, the tacky. So good thing that I did. So good thing that I didn't, because you had a whole, you were trying to get me laughed at, right? That's what you wanted me to get on there for. Because you thought, okay, well, Sharp will sound way worse than me, so shit, it'll make my verse actually sound better. Fuck you, nigga. I just wanted Rap. to see what he was going to do, and I didn't exactly have, like, really high hopes for it, but I thought it would have been funny. Yeah, and then I hear hopes. that song, and I'm just like, I'm at the building. oh, my God, it's way worse than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, man, you think that we go, hey, let's react to it. I hate it, dude. You got a nigga in some thick-ass bifocals, a Tommy Bahama shirt, nigga and some khaki shorts over here chuckling with you about another nigga doing some music. Cut it out. Bad. I didn't. I don't oh. think I heard the whole. Yeah, I did. Can we react to it, or is it? Is he gonna? I think call, you is he go in the other room and up? listen to it. I'm not fucking giving him the revenue from this stream. I, I'm not giving him the revenue. I wouldn't even have did him like that, though. I wouldn't even have did him like that, homie. I'm not him. I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna sit there and take nothing from you, bro. You? Why would I even do that? Give me the revenue for what? I don't want that. Like that's not even what. It, this is insane, bro. You's a fucking nut, bro. I'm gonna start calling you bolts. Cause you your fucking screws are gone. No, well, we do have a music right. stream after this. Pulse, so yeah, you, you gotta go. go. pay, you got to have that listen to on the stream, right? We could definitely yeah, of course. I don't know Who's if he's the stream. He's um, probably not even awake I got yet. A video shoot out there. I, I I could do the stream oh. by my damn. We do have a video shoot. 
Oh, so it's, yeah, it, it's, so it's, yeah, it's we have clapped? A, All right. Yeah, All we right. got a video shoot. We got a we we'll, we'll, take we'll on. reschedule the music stream for a later I day. am a little surprised yeah. that Spiffy Luciano made his way onto the track. Yeah, I thought he was my friend. Yeah. yeah. That's where I heard he. Was... Because he, you know, Spiffy, last thing I heard from him was like him really, really wanting us to hang out with him when we were in Atlanta. Beggy. <laughs> you, you said begging. Uh, <laughs> to me, I was like, wow, Spiffy. Like, I've been watching you really go after my attention and my, you know, promotion for all these years. Me and Dejon did a fucking interview with him. So I was kind of surprised to hear him on that. Now, I've noticed Spiffy has not promoted the song in any way on his Instagram story or anything like that, which kind of makes me feel like he was almost like a, a unwilling participant in this. I mean, I think I'm not sure he how was that looking work, for right? exposure in any form, and then he did. He probably doesn't want to put it up. An unwilling participant. I don't think anybody's unwillingly getting on a track that's about to be aimed at somebody. Unwillingly. How the fuck did I force now? I'm forcing niggas. Come on, dog. He loved the track. The nigga been on my phone every day. I fuck with bros. He's a, he a good nigga. He asked me, he said, man, Sharp, send a collaboration post. I just haven't. I haven't even really pushed it like that. I've just been letting the track do its thing. I haven't tried to make too much noise off of it. I've been just letting, letting that shit move organically. I haven't even done nothing. I haven't even tagged him in it. I put it in my story one time and tagged at him, and that shit's been gone. That shit was gone a day ago. Like, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? He, he didn't post it. He's waiting on me to do a collaboration post. He been asking me for that. The day we dropped it. Like, why are you fucking hating, bro? You a fucking hater in your heart, bro. This is, it burns a fucking hole on top of your asshole just to say, hey, man, that shit was hard, my nigga. I know he did it. Like, it was what it was. And you know what? This is why I wanted him on that cypher. But you know what, dog? You too much of a bitch. And you ain't you ain't real enough to say something like that. I would say that about you like, yeah, that nigga went off shit. I sat there and even went and did a fucking reaction on y'all fucking punk ass cypher. And nigga gave everybody some kudos. Like, here, my nigga, hey, that's cold. Do y'all shit. Fucking clown, you're a weirdo, bro. Story like, uh, Daytime, maybe bro. I can get it out. Adam doesn't hear it. I don't know how. I don't know how he would think that that would work. Yeah, yeah but, you know, but he was holding back. Did not promote it, though. It didn't feel like a lot, but then he also Speak mentioned my wife Chris. and everything. So that's, you know, it's like, I get it. That's what everybody does. But at the same time, that's how okay, I guess. Uh, Blacklist. I, spiffy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to be honest, you're, like, you're relying solely on Boosie now for promotion, I guess. And also, like purely objective shit, like make some Kool Aid. <laughs> like the thing is, like Sharp, he's not a rapper. Like so, I can't really, as not a rapper, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't he, bad. Yeah, it wasn't he that did. Bad. You know what I'm saying? Like he for, for not a rapper, as a, as a not rapper, like yeah. that's what I'm saying. He did I? He did. Okay, but cool. if you're gonna put me in the cover art. I would expect you to like at least try to like land a bar or two. Well, this is what I was gonna I say. I can't even remember if he had a bar. I don't remember. I I didn't like when uh, he alluded to your daughter. Talking about my daughter. That, that's weird. Weird. Especially you're when you have, sir? he's got you're a whole shitload of kids he ain't taken care of. I'm a great dad. Oh fuck. That feels like kind of a you know. Oh, if shit. I wanted to mention that, I have so much to go on. Oh shit. Now. I never talked about your fatherhood or your parenting or anything, bro. I just said, Adam, this will have your daughter screaming this her favorite song. Where did I, like, fuck with your kid or, like, fuck with your, like, question your, your fatherhood, bro? When did I question this nigga's fatherhood? Just say it was clever, nigga. Just say it was clever. You you can see it in your face, gang. You're a little agitated. You're a little agitated, my boy. Just a little bit, right? It ticked you off a little bit because you don't want me. You don't give a fuck even if I speak on her in a positive sense. You don't want me saying anything to your daughter about anything ever. You find me disgusting, repulsive. So you don't even like me even having to even say anything. Like, bro, it was just all about the money for you, gang. I get it. I see it. Your true colors come out now. That's crazy, homie. 
Never questioned this man's fatherhood. What the fuck? Nigga, I just said, hey, this gonna have your daughter screaming this her favorite song. Where did we say, hey, your fatherhood's in question here, buddy? Hey, this is like, what the fuck? Just say it was a it was it was clever, dog. Just say that. Cause I was able to mention it without bashing or saying anything negative towards your daughter or you in that sense. I just got you with it. You don't want this to be your daughter's favorite song, so that bothered you. Like, hell no, I don't want this to be her favorite song. I hate this nigga. That was clever. I mean, fuck. Are you mad about that? Stop, gang. Yeah? I have estranged ex-wives. I have girls in my DMs telling me that you were beating them and you know sex trafficking them and everything. To me, I wouldn't want to mention my kid if I were you. Estranged ex-wives. Well, I'll say this, bud. The day you can find an estranged and fucking just a fucking ex-wife of mine that's in fucking just disarray and she's just fucked up and just has all these troubles with me, you call us all up. We'll all sit down. Bring the chick in. I want you to bring her in, bro. Bring my ex-wife in. Do that, right? Chad, I mean, this is, and I'll come sit down for that shit. No problems. Bring her in. Since you have that so much, let's see. I'm just holding you accountable to your words, my man. I'm not, hey, I ain't trying to, hey, I'm not mad about that because I know you don't have that. So we can do that. But if you do, you have that. Hey, we can all come sit down, bro. Shit, I'm cool with that. Straight up. But I know you don't. I know you don't. You know you don't. You're just throwing bullshit out. And I get it. Especially since I'm a consummate father. You seem to be having a hard time with the whole fatherhood thing. Right. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Uh, and save it for the best, man. Yeah. Well, I, uh, what? The <laughs> kids, like, bro, you... I'm having a hard time with, like, what are we talking about here? Like, I don't, I'm having a hard time with who? Get my baby's mama to come in here and say this with you then. Like, don't act like you're sparing me if you have that. If you have that, bring that in. Why not? I don't get what you're holding back on. Adam, this was just a taste. You, you were, hey bro, you were very smart for backing the fuck up. Cause this is a hey, this is a whole different demographic. It's something that you don't want to play with with me, bro. You really don't. And Lush, nigga, hey, what? You gonna have Lush fight your battle? All right, my nigga, I'll take Lush fa lyrical fade, nigga. What, nigga? Lush, you still can't see me, dog. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, nigga. Talk about what you live. If you ain't talking about smoking crack and doing meth and doing all that shit, I don't think any of us gonna want to hear you, bro. Cause we all know your truth. So you can't get on there popping nothing. No offense to you, and yes, you, you know hip-hop very well. But like I said, bro, there's a lot of niggas that are fucking gurus, coaches, and don't know how to fucking shoot a two-pointer, fucking put a layup up, nigga. I don't want to hear shit. But I see how you playing it, though, Adam. And you know what you do? You be sitting up over there looking for confirm like this confirmation from everybody, nigga. You can't, you can't even hold this shit by yourself, nigga. I been doing this shit on my own, dog. I don't got no fucking group, nigga. I don't got nobody, homie. And you better put some fucking respect on my name. Uh, you can't do that. And that's why you I don't understand. Do shit, All these dudes don't are supposed that. to be like real deal street dudes. And then they get on songs and their just automatic thing is start mentioning kids and shit. Like, it's very strange to me how the bitch in people just emerges so quickly. Now, this is my impression of Sharp. I about my kids, period. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is Sharp on stream. <laughs> To speed it up 1.5%. <laughs> Goes into a rant about something that he already said like 30 minutes earlier. 
and then just back to rocking. It's like he really is a rocking chair. Like he doesn't have to. Like there's a device that enables this. Yeah. You don't have to just rely on your computer chair to do this. And then, oh yeah, but then this is what he. He also seems like he gets up every five seconds and goes and gets some ice from the fridge. Like, bro, there's a way around this. You could have a fucking ice machine right next to your desk <laughs> if you really wanted to. I don't understand, but I don't know. People like. I, I gotta give it to Guilty because Guilty just clips the best moments on his Instagram stories. He be so. watching. Shouts to G. I be uh, getting most of my tidbits from that, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I just feel so bad for the Sharp thing because he just seems like he's just not well. Well, yeah, like like fools are not di- like we're having fun. We're making our own music. And he seems like, miserable. No one's dis- like, yeah, no one's and that's what bro. when he said that he had a song coming with an LA artist. Honestly, like I was racking my brain trying to think of like who he would get because it maybe, doesn't seem like he has like friends out here. Really, what well, would have been tight? Sugar Free, DJ Quick, but maybe he does a song with Frosty because you know him Frosty and Suspect would never don't do get along. I'm just saying that would be the power moves. It didn't have to be a diss song, but I guess he bringing the Crane Crusher back out. I don't right. know. Uh, no, no, no. L.A. artist, yeah. Spiffy. I'm trying to look up Sharp's social blades because I'm, I'm really trying to understand like how much he's come up off of the whole dissing because I feel like, to be fair, his YouTube channel's kind of moving now. It right. is. But he obviously, probably, it's only going to move while this beef's going on, but I'm, try, probably, I'm trying to see the social blades. He's going to be back on Dejan like, mode like pretty soon. Tier, like a tear pack or something. He probably got a dime or something. <laughs> what, what I, we actually, yeah, I've heard dollar amounts thrown around, but... <laughs> I'll, I'll just say that. I see, no, I, I mean, I seen a dollar amount, but that was like a week ago, so... Mm. I'm, grab this I'll just app. say that keep playing with me on I just wax. tried to look it up, but it didn't work on Social Blade. Keep, keep playing with me in rap songs. Just promise you it ain't what you want. Listen. It's not going to turn out good. <laughs> I promise you it's not Did what you, you want. Did you catch the sneak dish from Spiffy? Or was it? Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't really a sneak dish. He, he like, like, it was a blade dish. Whoever listened to Cuz is a puppet. Yeah, he even. Less what you want to do, bro. What you want to do, my nigga? Like, I don't get that. Is that like a, like, you keep saying, like, that ain't what I want, bro. Like, what you saying? Like, this is the problem. Y'all two niggas the problem. That's why I ain't really say nothing about Brick, others. There's nothing really to, you, you got to save things. You can't just put everything out. You know what I'm saying? So, I like I said, I just sent some pop shots and seen what it was going to do. He got a lot of good-ass feedback. So, people were fucking with it. So, to hear these niggas talk like Reckless, Lush, and Adam, like, nigga, y'all niggas is crazy. I get it. Trap Lord Ross, you just along for the ride, baby. You just along for the ride. I get it. You ain't even... I know it ain't nothing personal with you, dog. I done talk to you, nigga. I already know how you is. Sweet. Like he said, Lush, mm. since you next to him, I'm shooting at you, too. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't notice that. Uh, look at that spike, oh man. Hey, he's, bro, he's still putting up some numbers on the board, <laughs> look at man. That. Look at how fucking mid your whole career has been until you started talking shit about me. <laughs> Sharp. <laughs> Newsflash. You ain't shit without me. And hey. this is fucking garbage content right here. Sharp, this is my one thing. <laughs> Get a million views without me. Get a million views because you did it so many times on this channel and you claim that it wasn't us. It wasn't the number of subscribers we had. It wasn't the platform. It wasn't the fact that we got you all your early guests. Make something that gets us. Bro, you got me nobodies. I had to make that happen. And I can say that humbly. Chat, listen to this. Let's be honest. All those interviews, nobody knew who a fucking Tucker was. Nobody knew who a fucking sugar cookie was. Nobody knew. Nobody was ever talking to Blue Girls Club, doing this shit, making a million off that shit. This wasn't shit that was just happening. That's crazy. Hey, I get it, though. I'm not mad at you, Adam. Hey, I understand. You say you got him. Yeah, you might have set him up, but it was like feeding the monster, nigga. I had to know what to do to eat off that shit and to make sure everybody ate off of it. Let's not get it fucked up. I made sure everybody ate off of it in there. Anybody who ever fucked with me caught some gain from it.
You know, I saw that clip uh, the other day, and I got to speak on it because I just saw it. And I'll be late on it. I try not to watch too much of that shit because I don't be wanting to be fixated on it, so I'd stay kind of away from it. But I saw a certain somebody sit there and say, uh, I was buying Gina bags and shit. I'm like, and I know we kind of spoke on the situation with the, you know what I'm saying, the clip came out about the trick and shit, but I'm like, dog, because I gave her a couple bands, this girl made sure, nigga, I saw 33,000 off of a motherfucking video. Hell yeah. Here go a couple thousand. I don't give a fuck if Gina wants to sit there and burn that shit and wipe her ass with it. Keep the interviews coming. Keep the plug coming. Shit. Obviously, you know how to set them up. I know how to knock them down. That's what's making the numbers. It takes two to make this shit work. Hell yeah, I was going to look out for her. You give a fuck what she did with her bread? So I was wrong for making sure she touched a couple dollars? I think it's weirdos tricking boy please knock it off tricking nigga because i made sure she made some bread off of what she was plugging me with this ain't a hoe this ain't my hoe nigga she's not like how am i tricking this ain't a hoe nor am i trying to fuck her none of that so what the fuck is the problem here homie she did good business with me i never asked her to see her little moose knuckle so what the fuck's the problem? Me and her made some cold plays. Plays as in interviews. The fuck was the problem? Like, I had to speak on it. I couldn't believe it. When I saw it, I'm like, nigga, trick, tricking on who? Because she made some bread off of what she helped me get? I was playing fair ball. The fuck's the issue? So to appease the situation, I should have never gave her shit. Like, that's crazy, my nigga. I don't get down like that. I'm still a human, bro. I'm still a, I'm a good nigga. I'm a real nigga. I don't play like that. Not everybody's playing in my game. So I, I understand to be able to respect another person. Hey, homie, I see you looking out. Here is good. No, this ain't pre-recorded. We in this motherfucker. <laughs>